When starting a fire, you need to think about what is happening in your flue. At the start, the flue is full of cold air, which is dense and acts like a plug. As you generate heat and smoke from the fire, the smoke can't get through the plug, so it sits in the firebox and can smother your fire. To remove the plug, you need a hot kindling fire to help heat the flue. Start by scrunching up newspaper or placing fire lighters around sticks and twigs no thicker than your fingers. You can form either a teepee or a crisscross pattern for the kindling, remembering to allow for airflow between the pieces to generate the fire. Light the newspaper and all the fire lighters in a few different spots. Ensure that your air slide is completely open and leave your door slightly ajar. Wait for your kindling to catch a light. If you're producing a lot of smoke at this step, you may need drier kindling. If you have a Vogue Navara, turning your fan on at this step and closing the door will help get the fire going quickly. Once it takes, you can check to make sure the fire is ready to be built. If you're able to close the door and the fire stays bright and the flames sit up, this means that your flue is hot and active and ready to start building the fire. If the flames start to slow and meander, this means it needs a bit more air or fuel to heat the flue. Carefully insert some slightly larger pieces of hardwood on top. These should be about the size of your wrist. Depending on how well the fire is burning, you may need to leave the door slightly ajar for a bit longer at this point. Once these are alight and are producing embers, commence adding larger hardwood pieces increasing in size. For a visual reference, move from wood the size of your forearm, to wood the size of your bicep, to wood the size of your thigh. If you don't follow this order, then the larger logs on a small fire will just smoke and smother the fire. Remember that logs should always run front to back, not left to right, to avoid blocking off primary air and reduce the risk of a log falling forward and breaking your glass. To prepare for an overnight burn, it is best to reduce the air to the fire at least 30 minutes before setting it up to reduce the heat in the box before putting in your nighttime logs. Once it starts slowing down, insert as many large logs into the fireplace as you can, front to back. This step requires a bit of a test and adjust as every fire will be different with how much wood and air you need to achieve an overnight burn. In the morning, there'll be red embers left in the firebox from the night's burn. To restart your fire, move the coals together with a poker and insert a handful of kindling and a small piece of hardwood. The heat in the firebox should be enough to light the wood. However, if not, place a couple of pieces of newspaper or fire lighters back in the firebox to get it going again. Continue to add more hardwood until you reach the desired temperature. If you have a Vogue Navara, turning your fan on at this step and closing the door will help get the fire going quickly again.